All right, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon X and Y Lock. We're just gonna get actually let me close my blinds before. We're just gonna get straight into this episode. No dilly dallying. We gotta get through this. All right, you ready? Move three, two, one, move. All right, great. Okay, let's just go. Let's just go. That's what I'm doing. Okay, so there is a green pad right here. I guess I step on this. Gotta get that item. Hyper potion. Great. Okay, that's actually not terribly. Uh, I'm surprised we haven't lost anyone yet. <laughs> I know, we've come really close. I almost lost several people last episode. Oh, I have to face this guy. Well, I'll just go ahead on the pad. Oh, wait, if you go on the pad, you can skip him. Oh, but then you just go straight back through here. So, never mind. No, no, no! Oh, I'm stupid. He just watches you go past, like, mm hmm, that's interesting. <laughs> so, you have to walk past him to get to the green pad. Okay, that's fine. More Skype messages. Okay, Team Flare Grunt, Golbat, oh shoot, who do I have up the front? D-Chain, uh, let's see what you can do against this thing. Let's go for a Mirror Shot, Air Cutter, we should be able to eat that up pretty well, Keychain. Yeah, there we go, Keychain. Mirror Shot. Accuracy fell. Okay, let's just stand here and Mirror Shot a bunch. Mean look, oh, now I can't escape. Okay, that's, that's... <sighs> Okay, we can kill, we can kill with a couple mirror shots, it's not a big deal, it's just... I right, can call one more mirror shot, just take him out. We're gonna avoid the air cutter because of Rock's accuracy with mirror shot. Good job, critical hit, thank you Keychain, good job Keychain. Rock of experience, with you, and we Pokemon when he's in his final form. Pardon? What level Xander's Pokemon gonna be when like he's in his final form when he's like going Mega Gyarados and everything? I don't know, but I found the final team flare lady. The final team flare lady, interesting. Uh, this thing is a fighting type, but we're a fairy type, we resist some of its moves. So um I think we're safe to just dazzling lean right here. Hey team flare like admin. Sorry about to eat that up. I mean, okay, we're not gonna eat that up as much as I want to do dazzling lean. Okay, we're actually gonna switch right here into Nero. You're gonna get that nice, powerful Earth power. So there's another admin. Yeah, number four. This thing's not special, right? This Toxicro better not be special. Oh, we're gonna have to speed anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> good, 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 good. Okay, okay, good, good, good. Okay, it's super effective. Toxicro dies. Okay, great. Okay, lots of experience. We're gonna go level 53. Good job. He's level 46. B. Delta's level 43. Wow, you're looking far behind. Five cards coming in here. Just gonna go right up. Chain. Two kills as quickly as humanly possible, hopefully. Oh man, <laughs> I I almost sacrificed Trappin. You almost sacrificed who? Trappin. My Vibrava. Uh, oh dude, gosh, Weavile. Do you know what Weavile. gonna be? Weavile. Uh, this admin's got Weavile. Bruh. No, 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 no. Okay, wait, wait. I think I can give Power Up Punch to somebody on the team. Can anybody here learn Power Up Punch? Is there a doctor in the building? <laughs> Is there a... Please tell me there's a doctor. Do you, okay, with Mega Pokemon, do the abilities activate turn one? I don't know. I think so. Well, thanks for being useful. I think so. Because <laughs> my water pulses do a lot. Okay. From my Mega Blast toys. Alright, kill up chain, that's fine. Okay. What did I want to do? I wanted to teach, like, power up punch to someone. Oh, if that was a crit, I would have lost squad up. Low sweep. Use. Okay, Nero can learn power up punch. I think we. Well. No, if that was a crit, I would have lost my Blast toys. That's not good. <sighs> power up punch to Skrillex. Yes. Wait a minute, do these Weavals know low sweep? I don't think so. No. Yeah, I'm not going to power punch. I'm just going to go into like, uh... Alright, never mind. I'm not going to do that then. I'll just use either Keychain or someone else. Keychain is healed up, so Keychain can probably take it on. <sighs> okay, I've got the I've got the elevator pass, so I'm just going. Alright, I'm battling this lady right now that has the Weavile. 
I'm gonna go heal the Pokemon Center though before we actually just to restore all my power points and everything. Oh my gosh, a Houndoom! This is really bad. This is really, really bad. So we're gonna have to flamethrower so we can go out right here and sue Nero. Nero should probably get a fairly safe switch. I know we can't eat up one too well, but he saw Sand Earth Power. He should have to be next turn and kill. Please just go for like, I don't know, something lame. Yeah, flamethrower's gonna hit. That's gonna hurt. Not that I'm gonna do have no burn. Okay, good. Not that it really matters. I'm a special attacker, but. Alright. Never be too safe. That should one shot. That should one shot. Thank you. Thank you, Nero. Thank you much. I appreciate it a lot. Keychain grid to level 47. Weavile comes in right here. This is where we want to keychain. And even the thing has low sweep. Low sweep's only neutral to us. And Keychain's probably about the same level as this thing, too, so. Keychain is growing levels really fast, which is nice. He's gonna have the pressure, exerting his pressure. Oh no, whatever shall I do? I'm gonna dazzle and blame. Night Slash goes off. We're gonna eat that up pretty well. No crit, good. I think at this point we just try and head head out. I'm, I'm gonna go in the Pokemon. So I'm not sticking here with no PP on my Pokemon. Actually, I'm yeah. Gonna... I'm actually, yeah, I'll hit up the Pokemon Center before I open the elevator. Yeah, that's uh, probably a good idea. See you, Lysander's Labs. Like, oh, you're so strong, you're not ordinary, you're extraterrestrial, you're... Yeah, I don't know the lyrics. Bum, ba -da -bum, ba -da -bum. Why couldn't we have gotten Psychic from the last gym? It makes me mad that she gives you Calm Mind instead of Psychic. Yeah, actually, that is a bit of a pain. So I've got, like, nothing to deal with fighting types. How do you even get out of here at this point? It's complicated. I'm going to green pad. No, you don't go on any of the you don't go any on any of the pads. Um, there's a way. It's a bit tricky to oh, get to. Oh yeah, yeah. I, see, I, see, I see it. I see it. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Thank you. I'm going to heal and buy some more hyper potions. Actually, yeah. I should probably. I'm gonna sell those revives. Yeah, I'm gonna sell them too. I need some moolah. I spent a lot of money on TNs last episode. Yeah, and that they didn't do you well. No, because I wasn't able to use them because I got hacked out the entire battle. I got crit confused by everything, so. <laughs> but that actually helped me in, uh, against the Team Flare people. That one $70,000 TM actually helped a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's just head back down there. Oh, man. We don't we don't fight Lysander again until the Evel Paul part, I believe. I don't know. I'll let you know. Pretty sure that's when I'm gonna buy some super potions while I'm at it, just in case I need some quick, easy healing that does not need to be super. I gained 50k from battling all those people in the Lysander Labs. I had 50k Jeez. when I left here, and I came back with 100k. That's insane. Okay, use the elevator key. Team Flare may not be good, but they're freaking rich. <laughs> and to be fair, you know, I don't know if I said this last episode, Team Flare is one of the most lame teams in the whole series. It's probably my least favorite evil team overall, but they had probably the most diabolical plan because he, Lysander literally wanted to kill everyone. He wanted to create, uh, commit mass homicide and just murder the entire region. Hey. So yeah, it's pretty lame, but they're literally trying to kill everyone. The giants down here. Oh yeah, AZ. That's right. I get to listen to a story. I'm gonna. Is there a way to skip it? There's not a way to skip it. That's no. right. It takes like 30 minutes. Listen, one who will. Listen, faces Lysander. Brightness is off. I'm, I'm apologizing, people. Max out music. Everyone's silent for this part. A terribly long time ago. Are you up to it as well? There was a man and a Pokemon. He loved that Pokemon very much. <laughs> oh, cool. The man wanted to bring the Pokemon back, no matter what it took. The man built a machine to give it life.
he brought his beloved Pokemon back, and he married and named Jose Valentine. I was said Shaniqua. <laughs> the man had suffered too much. His rage still had not subsided. He could not forgive the world that hurt the Pokemon he loved. Jeez, I forgot how tragic this story was. I'm gonna cry. He turned the machine into the ultimate weapon so he could kill everyone. Good job. You made great life choices, AZ. Yay! Homicide! Woohoo! bringer of destruction that ended the war and killed every single person on the entire planet. The Pokemon that was given life must have known. And so, it killed itself. I mean, oh, that the lives of many Pokemon were taken to restore its life. And it was like, bruh, I can't live with myself like this no more. Look how sad it is. It's so depressing. The story is. The resurrected Pokemon left the man for his ex-wife, Shaniqua. And they lived happily ever after. Way to kill a tragic <laughs> story, Harrison. Wait a minute, he turned all the Pokemon into stones? That's why there are all the stones around Geosynge. They're the ancient, but I never realized that. No, I don't think anybody realized that. Did they? I don't know. Get the key back. It should not when be used. It... Everything will vanish again. Do you have it? That's a... why there are all the stones around Geosynch. I don't... They never mentioned that it turns... It doesn't kill them. It turns them into stone. All those ancient Pokemon became rocks around Geosynch, and that's why the ultimate weapon is there. Because it shows them all as rocks at the end of the cutscene, just really briefly. <gasps> Bro, I figured it out. Nobody's ever thought of this before. It's so original. Dude, I figured it all out. He turns them into stone. Oh my gosh, he's Medusa! I know it! I'm right! Has anybody, has anybody ever had that theory before? I think I'm the first one. Oh my gosh! Dude, I'm gonna become famous. I'm gonna become Bill Nye the Science Guy of Pokemon X and Y. Just don't. And way to ruin a fantastic story. Well, what do you mean? I mean, hey, we would have had a decent story if you didn't keep making jokes about it. I mean, I did not make jokes about it. Anyway, let's he just... He the flow at Mary's ex-wife Shaniqua. That's what the word said. Not gonna... At least on my... I don't know what kind of crafty legal version you have, but... Oh, this part! <laughs> what do you mean, this part? Because, you know, you press the button, and no matter what button you press, the world still explodes. Ah. Uh. This is actually... Again, I hate Team Flair, but this part right here, this was really great lore. I like the lore of Kalos, and this was a great sequence, the whole Lysander Labs. Yeah. So much as I hate Team Flair, they had the most evil plan, and they had a great lead up to it. But the rest of the game for Team Flair was pretty stupid. Ho, 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 I'm Santa Claus. You're the one I heard so much about from my elves. I was getting ready to make you presents. I've been waiting for you. I need to do a little research on you. Yeah, that doesn't sound creepy at all. Oh yeah, that's. This is Santa Claus. Look how look at how pale white he is. No, that's Santa... that's a scary Pokemon. Dude, it's Santa Claus. No, what he leads oh, with. Why do I have keychain up in the front every single time I have keychain up in the front? Let's just go for a mirror shot. I need to turn down my volume. Steel wing. Oh no, that's super effective. Is it? Oh. No, it's not. It's just neutral. We ate that up. I don't know what I'm so concerned about. That's gonna do a decent amount. We did not get the accuracy drop, unfortunately. Stealing again. He might get. What does that give a defense boost? I'm probably. Uh, you got the crit there. I'm probably just gonna go out into auto him here in a second. Accuracy drop. Oh man, wait. Can we just stand and kill this thing with keychain? I really don't want to switch. I think I have to switch here. He's not gonna crit again, right? <sighs> Crobat's okay, way wait. too bulky for my team. <sighs> we had that accuracy drop finally, but we're just gonna go ahead and switch over here. We go ahead and use Skrillex. This is my safest play, I think. Alright, eat up this eat, eat up this steel wing, Skrillex. Oh, we're gonna avoid the attack the accuracy drop. Nice okay. job. Bring him Marowak. Oh, crit, no crit, no crit. 
Thank you. No poison. Great. Great, great, great job, screw it. Eating it off. I'm eating it up. Alright, Arno's gonna gain 2,000 experience points, gonna go level 52. What's the highest level on your team right now? Um, f Marowak, 54. Oh, dang, my Pokemon are not that high level. A uh, Malamar, I don't have any bug type moves, do I? And Keychain's weakened, so I guess I'm just gonna go into. Krabs Aussie is still a dark type, yeah. Krabs Aussie gets level the same for super effective. I think dark type is still super effective. Should never have gotten rid of Bug Bite. That would come in super handy right Okay, here. Crobat's down. Yeah, same. I chose Crobat. He's got a Malamar now. I have no Bug type attacks. Yeah, same. Me neither. That did nothing. What? Superpower? Uh uh. Is this contrary? Is this thing contrary? It's contrary! Oh. Um. Dude, what the frick do I do? I don't know. I have, I have to poison jab and hope for a poison. Okay, I I have, I have to risk I have to risk Tinkerbell and go. Poison. Yes, we got the poison. We got the poison. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And please, we got the poison flinch. Oh, Fire off a moon blast. Yes. Okay, Malamar's down. He's only plus one. Wait, he's only plus one attack. And I defense. Think he's still that after plus one. No, no, wait, I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to heal right here. He's going to superpower me. Worst case scenario, do superpowers. I live if I'm at full health, which I will be after I use a super potion. Okay, the right. Brava's so evolving. Like, another, another boost, but after poison damage. So superpower again, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Dude, I have a fly gone now. Oh, you got a crit, too! Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I have a fly gone. Nice. Yo, 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 this poison jab does not kill. This poison jab does not kill. What do I go into? I think I go into... This is so bad. Well, I should have just poison jab. I don't think poison jab kills here. I'm not risking Krabs. I'm going to go on to Stealthers. I'm sorry, Stealthers, but I don't want to lose Krabs Aussie. I'm sorry, Stealthers, but I really don't want to lose Krabs Aussie. I'm so sorry, Stealthers. I'm so sorry, Stealthers. Oh, I feel terrible. But Stealthers wasn't getting a lot of experience anyways. Missed the superpower. Oh, my gosh. Down goes Stealthers. All right. I'm sorry, Stealthers, that you had to die, but you took one for the team. You took one for the team right there, Stelters. Mmm, that is tragic. Honestly, I don't know why he makes you press a button if they all do the same thing. It's for dramatic effect, jeez. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna press the blue... dramatic. I'm pressing the blue button. Uh, I'll press the orange button, then. Uh, Malamar dies, unfortunately we lost Stelters. I'm sorry, Stelty, to have let your sneeze will die. But, uh, it was necessary. I really did not want to lose Score or Drapion. I, I just didn't know if a poison jab would kill from that range if he was plus two defense. Why did he have a contrary Malamar? That's so freaking stupid. Honestly, he just uh, makes you sit there and watch. I do like the cutscene where you have to watch. That's a good cutscene. Like, just watch, uh, just watch well, us get thing. copyright claims oh, for this. Extra for Christmas. That's not red. That's orange. Is it press the red button or the blue button? I'm pressing the orange button. That's not red, that's orange! That's orange! You see a sliver of it right there. That's orange! I'm sorry about the brightness too, guys. Yeah, I don't know why the brightness. You pushed it! Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas! You pushed the little red button. Too bad for you. Has been able to use the ultimate weapon. I would have activated it even if you had gas structure. Come on, look! Look at the monitor! I do like this is a really great scene though. Because it shows everyone in Geosinch Town die. Like, these people can't live being in their houses with their houses knocked over. Like, they probably died. Honestly, I kind of, after this cutscene, I kind of just want to do some final preparation stuff, then we go to Geos Engine in the next episode. Yeah, I, I'm honestly kind of with you there. We might just need to do some training. Actually, I'm I, sure I, I was just going to do it for dramatic suspense. Oh, that too. We yeah, literally, I mean... I know he never actually uses the weapon and kills people. Spoiler alert, not everybody in the Kalos region dies. But these people in these houses right here, there's no way they live. They, they have to die. Right? I mean, look, their houses got knocked over. They were probably in there, and then boom, they're all dead. So he's already, he's already killed at least, like, 15 people. Well, I'm out of there. I'm still watching the cutscene. Max volume! Oh 
Oh my gosh, it's a giant rose. Dude, it's gonna nuke us. I feel like we need the, the Call of Duty effect. It's like tactical nuke inbound. <laughs> yeah, these people are all freaking insane. Scroll, goodbye. I gotta replace uh, Stealthers. Wait, the stealthers go actually go down. Yeah, I had to sacrifice stealthers because I just didn't know the poison jab would kill at that rank. Okay. But I mean, if I if I hadn't healed, you would have critted me and killed me. So. Glad I've got a fly gun now, but I can't have the fire light anymore. Oh, that's true. Uh, when do we get the team for dragon claw? Um. That's probably like really late. Like that might be kill out city late. I'm sorry, Stelters, that you had to go down. You fought valiantly. You didn't really do all that much fighting, but you know what? You just worked the team when it was necessary to do so. That is my eighth death. Death. What is wrong? I'm surprised I didn't lose anyone. Ah oh, man, I don't want to go. I'm trying to think of who I could use for the next one. I think I'm gonna go Magneton. Because while well, I know it won't be able to hurt that Gyarados very well. You can go to the deal. desert and evolve it into Magnazone. Oh, true, true. You could do that while. Well, where's my egg, though? That makes me mad. I lost my lucky egg somewhere. I know I had it, but I don't know where it went. Yeah, dude, just go to the desert, level it up, and evolve it into Magnazone. Oh, wait, do I want to go for the Aviolite? Mmm. Where is the lucky egg? Where do you get? I know I had the lucky egg. Where do you get it in this game? Let me Google it real quick, guys. So we'll do Lysander in the next episode. But right now we're going to go do some grinding. Lucky egg. I was kind of hoping that um trapping gets dragon claw by Mudra Learner, but doesn't. Aww. I'm pretty sure I got. It. I'm pretty sure it's in the Cal Marine City Hotel, right? Probably. Yeah, Cal and oh, and I already got it, didn't I? Did I not get it? Well, I'm... Well, I'm done if you just want to end the episode off here. Oh, I didn't even do any training. Just a second, let me go get the, uh, the Lucky Egg from the Lizanne, from, uh, Cal Marine City. No, you have the Lucky Egg. I thought I did, but I don't know where it went. Check your bag. Organizing. I did. I checked my bag like five times. I didn't trade it to you either because I gave you the miracle seed. Yeah. So maybe I just maybe I thought I picked it up and I didn't. I checked all the Pokemon on that PC. I checked everything. I don't know what happened to it. Camry City is right here. I was gonna fly me to the uptown part, so I gotta go downtown. Oh. Yeah. Okay. My episode's probably gonna cut out here in a minute anyway, so I guess we will just go fight Lizanne in the next episode. But dang, Magneton's so low level too. He's like, he's almost 20 levels below what I need him to be. He's 10 levels below what he should be, to be honest. But, you know, whatever. Oh, yes, that's the lady that says. Okay. Yes, I'd like to might ride the monorail. Well, I'm done. For, I'm done for now. All right. Well, do you want to do Lysander tomorrow? I mean, it's gonna take you a while to see. You cut out. You cut out again. Uh, do you want to do Lysander tomorrow? Because I have to, I still have to. I still need to upload episode twenty-seven because you got it out for like a day now, and um, and I and I it's gonna take me a while to uh level it up. So. Sure, I guess. I mean, I'm happy waiting for your videos to go up. Alright, yeah, it should be up like tonight or tomorrow, and then tomorrow we can do the rest of it. Because it's going to take me a while to save these videos, I might as well go ahead and edit, edit, finish editing episode 27. Okay. And I'll make the thumbnails for all that. So, did I already get the lucky egg, or do I have to show a Pokemon that's really happy? Well, this is episode 36 now. Just a second. Alright. Well, this is episode like. I can't pull up the egg, so I guess I already got it, and I lost it somehow. 
Wait, do you have to show this girl something and then she'll give it to you? Yeah, like Max Happiness Park Mall. So just use Ordinar. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I thought I could have sworn I already had the lucky egg. Huh, that's really weird. Thank you for the lucky egg, lady. Okay, so I did get the lucky egg. I'm not going insane. I didn't already get it. That's nice. Okay. Well, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode of the Pokemon X and Y Rival Lock. Dude, why don't you take us out since I did the last episode? Okay, guys, uh, show your appreciation by smashing that like button down below. Check out Ken Tucson's channel. He does FFAs, he does Battlefront, Minecraft occasionally. Just really, really good content. And we'll both catch you in the next episode of the Pokemon X and Y Rival Lock. So until then, catch you later. See ya.